Hey guys, good morning. So yesterday in the mail, I received my Danessa Myrex Blurring Balm Powder. Please forget a little nick that I did on my powder. Um, so I received my Danessa Myrex Beauty Balm Powder. I picked up the shade number seven. Let me show you guys what the lid looks like. This is the lid here. It has a little spoon. I'm not gonna use the spoon because I want to use my fingers. So the reason I picked up this product is because I'm looking for something that's going to give me a little coverage um, so that I can be on the go. So like I wanna be able to throw it on and leave the house. I have two toddlers, if you didn't already know. So life is a little hectic around here. I don't get to do a full face daily, but I would love to have some type of coverage on my face every day. So let's get into it. All right, guys. Hey, so I'm going to go ahead and start applying. This is my first impression. I have never used this product before. So this is shade number seven. Let's see what I think of the feeling. Oh, it feels amazing. It does feel like a balm. So here it is. That's shade seven. So let's see what it looks like. Okay. Looks a little light. I probably could have used shade eight. Let's just keep going. I do like how it feels once it's um, on the face. It does feel like a powder. Um, now, just so you know, I did prep my skin with my normal way I prep. So I just um, put some serums on, then some moisturizer, and then my sunscreen. So it's not on a bare face, but it's over my regular skin prep. So, so far it gives some coverage. Um, I'm Like I said, I'm gonna put it on my whole face and see what we look like. Um, at the end, I may add some color corrector because I do have some darkness in this area. I have some pimples that are healing. So it's not the product's fault um, if it doesn't cover it because it's not meant to be full coverage. This product is meant to give you a light coverage, blur your texture, um, and that's about it. So it looks like this shade might do well for me. I do like the fact that I can put it on with my hands, no problem. Let's see, put some here. And put some under my eye also because it claims to have be that you can use it as concealer as well. Um, now, I didn't buy any additional shades. I only bought shade number seven. So, first impressions. So far how I'm, you know, seeing it, I would definitely color correct if you have dark marks because this is not going to cover my... Um, dark marks. I mean, I could build it up, but like I said, it's meant to be light and sheer. So I don't think I want to do that. Um, you can also use it as a primer underneath your current foundation, um, which I think would be good because it did give a little coverage. Um, would I use this product alone on its own? Not on my skin in its current state. But I think it is awesome. Like I said, the claims that it is a balm to powder hold true. Um, I'm going to wear it all day. So I can give you an end of day wear test. Uh, but for now, in my opinion, I would definitely use this as a primer and not as a one and done product on my skin in its current state. Um, once my skin clears, I might be able to use it on its own. But in this, in its current state, um, this would not be a one and done product for me, but I could use it as a primer, most definitely. And I think the shade isn't off much at all. Um, I probably could have got shade eight, but I think that might have been too orange for, for my liking. So um, there we have it. My first impression of the Danessa Myricks Blurring Beauty Balm. Thanks.
Bye.